And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for the final season of DC CW's Gotham Knights. Season 1, episode 13. That's right, this is the final season of Gotham Knights. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of people guessed that this show wasn't going to last one season. Although I do admit, it did last longer than Swamp Thing. I think Swamp Thing has the record for lasting like what one episode, maybe. Oh wait, maybe, maybe not thinking about Agents of Shield. No, sorry, I mean um Inhumans from Marvel side. But anyway, yep, that's right. Gotham Knights has ended forever. Goodbye, burnt to Chris, along with with the the supposed Batgirl movie we were supposed to get, alongside with the Superman, um, Nicolas Cage movie that we never got, Justice League Immortal, all the other non-existent DC stuff that we don't nobody cares about anymore all right but let's talk about this episode for all seriousness because um this was pretty actually interesting to say the least because there are some things in here that I'm like huh okay that's not bad St I still once again still hate the whole how they kill Batman but whatever we moved on anyway it got canceled for that reason Sorry, I can't stop joking about the thing, but it, it is funny the fact that it it, um, it didn't last one season. But all joking aside, we did get to see the, this episode where Turner and the team literally got to save Gotham City from behind bars because the Court of Owls, or what's left of the Court of Owls, is pretty much hunting them down and trying to destroy Gotham with a dirty bomb, which is all fun and dandy. But he also got to see Harvey Dent get locked up as well. Next to a bomb that could basically make him two-faced. But he had an ultimatum. He had a big ultimatum to decide. Either save himself and the, you know, and the people of Gotham by turning into evil Harvey Dent. And unleashing him so that way him and Rebecca, the, the leader of the Court of Owls, can rule Gotham with all eternity and do things together. You know? Things that... I can't repeat here and destroy Gotham and rule it with an iron fist. Anyway, um, so he, you know, he had that ultimatum. He also had another ultimatum where they get, actually get Duella, tie her up to a bomb as well, and basically make that choice. Obviously, they figure out a way to kind of deactivate the bomb by Harvey Dent becoming evil Harvey Dent and pretty much killing um, Rebecca or, you know, um, the leader of the Court of Owls. And got them. To uh, Wayne Towers, sorry, Wayne Towers, pretty much went kablo kablooey. But everybody did escape except for Turner. He ended up being staying behind. Did he die or did he not die? Well, he did not die technically. To the eyes of Gotham, he did die, but to him, to but physically, no, he did not die. He did get saved by the person who pretty much trained his. You know, ad adopted father, Batman, which I thought would be Ra's al Ghul, or a version of him, whatever they want to call it, because apparently Turner's real parents were assassins sent to kill Batman, and that backfired, Turner's parents died, Batman survived, took in Turner as his own, became the new future Robin, if you want to call it that. We also got to see uh, Robin Carey Kelly's mom get stabbed. She almost died. So we got to see that as well. That was pretty interesting to see. Um, we did get to see Harvey Dent become Two-Face at the end as he had the scar face because um, Rebecca pretty much burned his face with the acid. Which was kind of Gotham uh, Dark Knight, Dark Knight um, moment. So that was pretty interesting to see that. Um, we also got to see, um, Two-Face, literally got to see Two-Face, not bad with the, with the, you know, the makeup, I thought that stuff was pretty cool, I thought it would be kind of cheesy and kind of cheap to make, but, it, you know, it, it looked decent for what it was, I'm pretty sure that was the most expensive thing they made for that show, but still, not bad, I mean, I, if, if they, if James Gunn wanted to hire that guy again to play Two-Face, I would not complain. I think he did a really good job with the Harvey Dent character. Just too bad he can't get more screen time with, with more seasons. But anyway, the Two-Face looked pretty cool. He did get to flip the coin and choose uh, Duella's mother's fate. Obviously, he kills her. And then Turner ends up going to some mansion somewhere. 
Meester's parents as trainer and Batman's trainer as well. My guess had to be Ra's al Ghul in some shape or form. They didn't call him that. They just called him some guy. I forgot, I forgot what the name was. It's not important anyway, but still. So I thought that stuff was cool. Basically alluding that he could he could have came back as the, maybe the new Batman to you know protect Gotham. The team decided to stick around as a team to you know honor his memory because they all think he's dead. And um, yeah, it just ends like that. So yeah, Gotham Knights only lasted one season. It's officially over. They're not bringing it back. It's gone. You know what? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I thought the show was okay. There were some moments that there were some cheesy moments about dialogue, choreography stuff. But the kid who played Turner and Duello were like my favorite parts of that show. The actor who plays Harvey Dent, you know, um, Castiel from Supernatural, he was great as T Harvey Dent. Um. The rest of the show, the whole thing about the Court of Owls, I didn't mind that stuff. I thought that stuff was fine. My only main problem was the fact that they had the Court of Owls kill Batman. Like, really? You think Batman would be that stupid just to get poisoned? Yeah, I doubt it. But whatever. They decided to go with that route. But that's okay. But the rest of the show where the cops found out about Bruce Wayne's identity being Batman... You know, the cops taking away, you know, Turner's, you know, money and the, the Batcave, the Batmobile, taking basically all that away. And he had to be on the run the whole show. I thought that stuff was just like, eh, come on. You know, the dialogue was, wasn't was great. Some of the fight choreography was not cool. There were some episodes that made no sense. But for a CW show, it was okay. Not my favorite out of all of them. Not my least favorite out of all of them. But... There was some stuff that, you know, that entertained me. And then there was some stuff I didn't like. So, overall, it was an okay show. Am I going to miss it? Not really. Am I going to forget about it by tomorrow? Probably. But, um... Nothing we can do now. Except say thank you to CW. And, yeah. Now that Superman's on life support with 10 episodes for next season... That's it. The CW Arrowverse is over. It's strange. You know, I thought the pain would, you know, diminish already by the fact that we already lost Stargirl and The Flash and Arrow and Legends before it even should have never ended. And Black Lightning and Batwoman, especially with that cliffhanger. It's like saying goodbye to the Arrowverse officially now. It's like... Ouch. It's like if Marvel decided tomorrow to make a big announcement that Kevin Feige comes out on stage on a in a you know black screen says, Hey, we decided to reboot the entire MCU. That's gonna hurt for a while. The Arrowverse was the best thing DC ever had. Yeah, sure, we had the Dark Knight trilogy, Man of Steel, but the rest of the DC movies were just just they weren't a lot of people did not like it but we had the arrowverse the arrowverse was dc's answer to, to the mcu not 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 you know movies but it was a cinematic universe that all connected some others did not but still and they were more popular than what marvel did with with their show so far some people don't like, even like phase four television stuff but Arrowverse was great. I will talk more about this another time, but Arrow, uh, saying goodbye to the Arrowverse is going to be hard. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about Gotham Knights. Did you guys enjoy it and not enjoy it? Are you guys laughing and partying the fact that it's over officially and we never have to talk about it ever again? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. Also, let me know what you guys thought about Superman and Lois too. The fact that it's getting only 10 episodes in the next season and especially with that cliffhanger. Yeah, Arrowverse, may you rest in peace. Thank you very much for all the entertainment joy. And until next time, have a good night.